this is really like a, I'm in a rush. Let me hurry up and throw this bad boy on and I know I'm gonna look good wig. Like, what? It is still 100% glueless. <laughs> So new wig today, but this one is the viral TikTok wig, y'all. So if you're on TikTok, I know you've seen this wig. Every time I open the app, a wig from this company pops up and it's supposed to be 100% fresh out of the box, put it on and go. So I got a 26 inch water wave. I'm either seeing like the curly one or I'm seeing a bust down middle part. And y'all, it looks so good. I even seen one girl put the wig on in the car. She was like, I don't have anything with me, but it fresh in the box. Took it out the box, put it on and it looked freaking fire okay so that is what we're going to be doing today and then I'm going to give you guys four must-haves to make your glueless wig look 100% flawless like it is growing out of your scalp and it's going to be glueless so let's see. Get out the wig. sorry it's like is it not recording oh this is the bonnet So it comes with an elastic band and three extra cones. Then they send the HD wig cap, the regular wig cap, instructions, and then lashes. Okay, y'all, so this is the hairline and I am wild, okay? You can't even see where the lace is, like no lie. Like, look at that, that is crazy. That looks so good. Even on the sides go down a little further. You know how usually it was just basically a closure. So this goes pretty far down. It doesn't go all the way down, which is fine because I hate the ear tabs anyway, but look at that. That looks so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in two little braids and that's it. So I'm gonna go in with the regular wig cap because I don't wanna waste the HD one. And this one is a little bit more sturdy to me. So I'm editing and I had to do a freeze frame because look how the hair is flowing, y'all. Where's the lace? So this is what the inside looks like. And then it already has a band, but it comes with an extra one. And then it also comes with the combs on the inside, but you can take these out. They're removable now. That's what the little tab said. So let's see. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got talk, heard it's real cheap, but it's really gold cost I'm trying to get these ends, building bios with my friend Y'all, one, the cap, this is one of those stretchy caps that I like way more than the regular wig cap Because for people who have smaller heads, it kind of cups to our head and it doesn't leave that little droop droop in the back. So this is like suction to my head, but it's also extremely stretchy. So if your head is bigger than mine, like there's tons of room, but it fits. Like how, how does it fit? But it's tons of room. And then look at the front, y'all. Look at this. I did nothing, 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 nothing. Look at this. Like, huh? So it's a little ashy because this is HD lace and you know you have to tint it a bit, but for fresh out of the box, this is how I want my hairlines plucked. Like, it looks so good. It is not glued down. The lace is amazing. The 
fit of the wig is awesome. Um, I, I get the hype. I get the hype now. I keep looking at my viewfinder, y'all, but like, I get it. I get it. Okay, so now that we see what the wig looks like fresh out of the box, and it literally needs little to no work, but I'm gonna give you guys four tips that are like my must-haves that's gonna take this wig from looking already amazing to literally looking like it's growing out of your scalp. We're gonna get rid of this little situation right here where you can see your wig cap underneath because of the lace. We're gonna get rid of the little ashiness, um, and then we're gonna make sure this thing is nice and secure. So I wanna show you guys. Okay, so the first must have is some type of wig tint. Because it has a little ashy cast, even when it's HD lace, more so when it's transparent, you want some type of either foundation, mousse, or wig tint spray. So this is the Ebon wig tint spray in light warm brown. This is the one that I like. You can also use your foundation, powder, or liquid. It really doesn't matter. This just sticks really good, um, and it's a nice shade match for me. So I'm going to go in with this. Just going to coat the entire bottom of the lace and the inside. They also have a mousse nail I haven't tried it yet um because I couldn't find it at my beauty supply but I'm gonna go in with this you can kind of see it on camera but I don't need that many layers because the more you spray the darker it gets with this so I just do like one even layer and then that's enough for me and then you wanna let it dry. So you can either blow dry it or you can let it air dry. So next we wanna get rid of our wig cap peeking through the parting area. So I'm gonna go in with my Perfect Line. Y'all know I love this stuff, not sponsored. Um, and this is in the shade tan. So I'm just gonna heat this up and put it right in the parting area. And I don't go all the way to the top. I kind of leave some space and then I rub it into the part. I'm about handling my business. No time for stress over bullshit. You think success is an option. I'm trying to get this shit popping like, ooh, big moves. My rules. Y'all heavy on the tweeting. I'll disappear a whole season like, ooh. Who said they looking for me? I'm going to make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. If it gets a little messy, that's okay. Just take your comb and kind of scrape it up. And it comes right out. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil and put it right in the parting area. This also helps to get rid of it, but it kind of gives it like that natural scalp look. And then just make sure it's off the hair. Yeah, I'm gonna make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Why tell them I look for it? Count down for me. 12, 11, 10, 9. Eat that, I'm gonna make you wait for it. On my time. And now you basically have scalp. Forward. On my time. So next up, wig security. So y'all know I love me a wig grip. Have been wearing these for probably like eight years now. This is gonna keep our wig in place. This one actually fits extremely well, but just in case, we're gonna put this on just to keep that bad boy from moving. So wherever your part is, mine is in the middle, so I'm gonna put this right in the middle. And you want to make sure the hairs, like you can feel the hairs going back because that's what's going to catch the wig and keep it from sliding. So now that I have the wig where I want it, I want to fix my part and then take my comb and kind of drag the perfect line forward a bit. Okay guys, now you can see, you can no longer see my wig cap underneath because the perfect line did its job. And number four is some type of sticky mousse. So this is the Design Essentials one. Lareja is actually the one who put me on this. So you want to take this, put it all over your hairline and then tie it down for a little bit. Hey. 
You do the math, shit don't add up Even on my worst day, down on my luck I got the sauce, I'ma always come up I tried it your way, that was a dub I'm taking the wheel now, cause I trust me I'ma go get these millions Hoes still hoping to wish it. You always had me waiting And I'm about fresh out of patience This time we switching positions Now you under my submission like Woo. My rules Big moves so I like to blow dry it a little first. Whole season, like, who said they looking for me? I'm gonna make you wait for it. It's been a few racks on a shopping spree. And then tie it down. So my head's kind of small, so I can't use the Velcro. I just tie it like a shoestring, basically. And we're gonna let this melt. So while it's melting, I'm going to go ahead and put some mousse in this hair. Yeah, I'm going to make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Why tell them I look for it? Count down for me. Five, four, three, two, I want, I'm going to make you wait for it. On my time. Yeah, I'm going to make you pay for it. On my time. So with curly hair, I like to finger coil, not necessarily the whole head, but sometimes I just grab chunks, especially in the front. And then I want to go in with my Dyson multi styler with the diffuser attachment on it, get it nice and dry. And then once it's dry, I'm going to take the Olaplex number no. seven oil and then put it all over my hands and use it to separate this finger coils and kind of fluff the hair out. Now we can take it off. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the spray and then this kind of dense brush and just tap it along the hairline. Look at the hairline, it came out so good. You can't see my wig cap anymore because I have the perfect line. It looks like it is melted. It is still 100% glueless. It's not ashy anymore and it is secure because we have our wig grip on. So this is how it came out. When it's time to go to sleep, all you do is take this bad boy off, put it on your wig head in the morning, put it back on and you are ready to go in no time. The good thing is with this wig, most of it was done, like the plucking and all of that was done. The only thing you will have to redo when you wash the wig is re-put the perfect line in and then retint the lace. Everything else is already done for you and you will be ready to go, but it came out so damn good, y'all. Like, look at this. That looks like it's my scalp. That looks like it's growing out of my forehead. Like, it looks so good. So this wig, Definitely, definitely give it a thumbs up. I see 100% now why it keeps going viral on TikTok because it is truly a wear and go wig. Um, but yeah, this is it. It's not that thick, surprisingly, but it looks super thick, if that makes sense. Like, it doesn't feel like a lot of hair, but it's given a lot of hair. the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something if you have anything else that you need help with or want me to do a video on go ahead and drop it down below in the comment section i love you guys and i will see you in my next one